Charles, thanks for being with us today. Yeah, thank you for having us, David. Charles, uh, BTCS is one of the first publicly traded companies in the U.S. to focus on uh, blockchain technologies and crypto. So let's start with an overview of your current operations. Thanks, Dave. So we currently have three business lines. Uh, the first is our transaction verification services business. That's often referred to as mining, which other public companies such as you know, Riot Blockchain and Marathon Patent Group are um, you know, involved in. We were actually the first public company to, to, to mine Bitcoin starting back in 2005. Our focus now is on, within the transaction verification services, is on proof of stake validating, which is on Ethereum's blockchain. And we're the first U.S. public company to do that. Um, so that's one component. The second component of our business is a data analytics platform that we're building to allow users to connect to multiple exchanges and aggregate their, their portfolio holdings. And lastly, we've been employing a digital asset treasury um, strategy that we announced back in 2017, which is to some extent like what you see uh, MicroStrategy doing or Square doing in terms of buying you know, huge blocks of Bitcoin, except we're diversified and are focused on disruptive blockchain protocols in addition to just Bitcoin. So we, right now we own Bitcoin and Ethereum. How big is the market opportunity for your transaction verification services? And, uh, and, and you've kind of just explained how you make money. So let's talk more about the, the market opportunity for your three, uh, your three channels. Yeah, so I think the biggest market opportunity is in the, uh, the transaction verification services, or you know, it could also be called mining. We are focused on the proof of stake protocols, which you know the proof of stake tokens now currently account for about fifty billion dollars in, in in market value for those tokens, and we estimate that the you know total revenue is you know in the billions of dollars that could be you know that's kind of up for grabs within that mining sector. Uh, being you know the first public company doing this, we think uh, we'll have a great opportunity to, to to drive tremendous revenue moving into this segment. Uh, and unlike Bitcoin mining. Uh, you don't, you, you know, you're not buying a depreciating asset where your revenue is consistently going down. You're validating transactions on that blockchain, and you have to, granted, you have to lock up some of your current tokens um, as kind of part of the protocol. But it, you know, you're buying a, you're basically locking up an appreciating asset versus buying a depreciating asset and, dri and driving revenue. So that's something where um, you know we see huge opportunity in. What's the development status of your data analytics platform? We're getting close to launching an invite-only beta of our data analytics platform in the second quarter of this year to allow users to come in, test the platform. Hopefully we can work out any bugs. But as of right now, we have four exchanges we're, that we're connected to via read-only APIs and are aggregating that data and displaying certain performance metrics. And we're still working on uh, some of the other components such as uh, you know, potentially tax reporting. Um, but that is, that is definitely coming along and we see, you know, an opportunity to even integrate that with our transaction verification services business to offer additional services in the future that could drive revenue. So that's something we're pretty excited about. Talk to us about your digital asset treasury strategy. You mentioned it earlier. How successful have you been so far and where do you go from here? So it's actually been a great strategy. I think, you know, we were probably one of the first U.S. public companies to enter that segment as well. We, we announced that strategy back in February 2017. Uh, it was great at the time given our market cap and resources, and you know we've executed on it you know very well. So since 2019, we've grown the the, the fair market value of our digital assets by over 4,000 percent through a combination of additional purchases and appreciation of those assets. So if you look at our our website or our corporate presentation. You know, the last reported amount was you know north of eleven million dollars of digital assets split between Ethereum and um, Bitcoin. We're also looking to take positions in disruptive protocol tokens where we think there could be a lot more upside. And especially in this market where Bitcoin is is flying so high and there's so much interest, you know, we see a lot of kind of hidden gems that others may not be looking at. And I think that's you know, one, one thing that differentiates ourselves from other companies that are just, uh, you know, following the masses. Well, let's talk about your background. Um, I know you've been in this business a long time. You've probably learned a lot. Uh, so what's your background, Charles? So, you know, kind of early in my career, I was an engineer in the tele telecommunications sector uh, before 
you know, getting getting into to finance. And I actually worked as an investment banker, helping small and mid-cap companies of similar size to BTCS raise capital and, you know, try to uplist to, to exchanges. So, you know, combining my engineering background and, 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 and finance has been very useful to be running a public company where we're focused on blockchain and crypto uh, cryptocurrencies, which is kind of a mix between technology and finance. And being able to bring those to bear, especially with the public company experience, I think puts us in a very good position. Um, you know, one thing I look at specifically to other public company competitors in the space is, you know, there's about 15 other companies focused on blockchain technologies listed on the bulletin board. Um, and, you know, the average market cap is about, you know, 50 million. There's about seven or eight um, kind of notable ones that are listed on the NASDAQ and the average market cap's about 1.5 billion. You know, one of the, our, our core goals for this year is, is to, you know, upgrade to, you know, national securities exchange. We've got, you know, certain options at best if we can do that. And we think that would create tremendous shareholder value. And in light of the you know, newly announced business initiatives with the transaction verification services, we think it's very achievable. So, you know, management's extremely excited about where we can go in 2021. Well, it's a great way to have exposure to Bitcoin without actually buying Bitcoin. You know, I think it's a great story. It's a very liquid stock. Charles, any closing comments today? Yeah, I think, you know, to, to kind of close, when I look at BTCS and our value proposition, you know, we've been, um, we're extremely innovative, especially in the public markets. We were the first company to mine Bitcoin starting back in Q3 2014. If you look at the value of the companies that are doing that now, Marathon Blockchain, HUD8, you know, Riot, billions and billions of dollars for companies that are basically using a strategy we pioneered. Um, in 20, Q1 2017, we were the first U.S. public company to employ a digital asset treasury strategy. And now you can see, you know, MicroStrategy, Tesla, Square dropping billions into Bitcoin. Now, fast forward to 2021, we are, you know, the first U.S. public company to actively be, you know, securing Ethereum blockchain by running nodes. No other public company right now in the U.S. is doing that. And, you know, we didn't really benefit from those first two, you know, disruptive moves we made. And, and the reason was we didn't have the capital at the time. What's different this time is we have a strong balance sheet, you know, over 11 million in crypto, a couple million dollars in cash. And, you know, we believe with that, with the new strategy, revenue coming online, we should be able to upgrade to the NASDAQ and really take this thing to the next level. Charles, it's a great story. Thank you for being with us today. And thanks, Dave. Really appreciate you uh, having us on today.